every morning I would walk the same path through the forest to get to the small village that lay not too far from my home. It was a lovely venture that I took delight in every day. Though the forest was old, the path was new and clear, though it wasn't paved. As I walked one morning, I turned the bend to see a small box before me. It had no markings or symbols that I could see on it, which disturbed me greatly. As a man who dabbled in both fantasy and science fiction, I immediately became afraid. I was not sure what it might be, but the theories that came to my head were all bad. My thoughts turned to that of assassin's tricks or terrorist plots. It might be something dangerous set out by my arch nemesis, or a trap set by muggers. At that time, my reason kicked in. I realized that I must be foolish to believe such things. It could just as easily be a package lost by some poor soul. I slowly moved towards the box, being cautious in my approach. Just as I reached the box, I noticed a small piece of paper pinned under the corner. I reached down and picked it up, doing my utmost to leave the package untouched. I unfolded the paper. On it was written a small letter. Do he that reads this note. A man might live a thousand years. A king might reign the same. But the man that sees this package shall no longer remain sane. For he that sees this package here shall become filled with fear. For if the box be opened, who knows what lies inside? But curiosity be the beast that wonders what there lies. Shall you follow the beast and open this here box, or shall you walk right along your sanity at a loss? The note intrigued me, but I was not a man to be pushed around. I felt like I was being threatened by the writer of the note. For me, that was inexcusable. I wadded up the note and threw it on the path behind me. Let that show you what I think of your threat, I scoffed at the box. With that, I continued on my way, fully content with my decision and believing it to be the best one at the time. But now I regret that decision. I have for quite some time. But all I really do is sit here by my window, staring off into space, wondering what was inside that box. My view here at Fallen Minds Mental Institution is not the same as I once had. But what is a view compared to what might have been in that box.